chick chick chickadees, chit 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 mouse. Everybody loves to watch birds. There's really no limit to the number of bird houses you can build. Bird house. The price is right. Bob Barker, bro. We All were right. both over though, can't you not? You were yeah, you, yeah, you, you were can both. Do a dollar. You can do a dollar. It's... No, that's but none of you did. But a you dollar. can't do over. You we can't both went say, over. You can go, okay, one person says sixty, one says forty. It's yeah, whoever's. Hey, it's whoever's closest, it's whoever's closest minutes. without going over. No, but yeah, they do. They bring like if it's else. thirty-nine and I say thirty-six and you say forty, I'm right because I didn't go over. And if they also, if no one gets it, they bring out something else. Oh, okay. Like they're just like, nah, I think, no one wins. I think that's right. I'm pretty I, sure. I'm not sure though. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't watch. Wrong. How much do this could cost me? Your hat? Yeah. Twenty-nine ninety-nine. On sale for nineteen ninety nine. Christmas gift free. Fuck. Oh shit. That's a no Christmas gifts, which means we have one more person to ask. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think Santa made you that hat? No, it's Elvis did, dude. Oh yeah, right. Santa you doesn't gotta, do any work. We are recording, so yeah, this is if Santa you want to get the do mic. Work. If you want to get any closer to the mic. Am I oh, too yeah, far? I'll get, I'll get, I know no, you're far. Because okay. I was like, oh, this yeah, fucking yeah. guy. Yeah. Well, you got to take the drink, you know. Yeah. Like yeah. sip, sip the water. You, gotta, you don't. Clear, you don't want the mic to pick up your breath, like like. Taze on day and chop that no, rain. No, yeah. you d- you got to move away. <laughs> yeah. That's that's how you get the most listens. Yeah. I think well, that's why he was doing it. He like posts the little thing. He's like, I move my yeah, I move yeah, my yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He just lets you know because because otherwise everyone would be commenting like, hey, why is Taze on day moving away from the mic every few yeah. seconds? He's like, I don't have a medical yeah. condition. Yeah. Neither of you know what happened to him. Yeah. Uh, he he like just music, he right? recently came back into the this limelight. This, yeah. The uh, Taze on Day. For what? Yeah, because he's. I think it was with all of the, um, the George Floyd stuff, which makes sense. Because mm. like that song is literally about black people. Like the. Is it? Yeah, yeah. It's that. It's like a sad <laughs> song. It's like no, straight up. Like if you like, he's on Twitter and he wrote a tweet that says. Well, like when everyone thought it was a funny, silly song, but it was actually about racial inequality and mm. injustice. Wait. And like, because if you, no one actually listened to the lyrics. Oh, I listened to the lyrics. I, I remembered like half the lyrics. Chocolate rain. Half the lyrics yeah. are chocolate rain. So True. that's probably why you remembered True. half of them. You might be crazy. I, I, know, <laughs> I know, like the lyrics. Yeah, like I, I guess you're right. It doesn't A sound, baby yeah. born with something, something, something. Will die. Will die before, before us. us. In chocolate rain, yeah. 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 It's like it's all washed some away. Some say dry while others feel the pain. That's another one. Racism. Yeah, yeah. Yep. That's yeah. some say dry while others feel the pain. That's boom. Yeah, it's a dark song. Mm-hmm. Welcome also, to yeah. the birdhouse. This is uh, episode one. Uh, should we do introduction? I figured that was a no, good time. I, to... I don't think we should get caught up in the introductions again. No, but the introductions, no, that was the fun part no, last time. Uh, that was an awful part the last awful time. awful part? That's entertainment. So what did you guys do the past week? The past week, we we don't even know who are we. This is episode one. Ago? We we recorded a zero episode. We've technically not recorded an episode yet. Technically, technically, but we already have a segment. We do. Okay, so I'm Connor, <laughs> I, this, that's Kyle, and then there's Brody over there, and this is Alter Bird Visuals. This is our podcast. Since this is the first episode, yo, I figured yo, we should yo, actually yo, yo. have a real intro. Yo, yo, and we should also actually see the title. Yeah, this yeah. Time. <laughs> yeah. I think that that should be an nah. important part, dude. Well, see, that's the thing, though. It's like people want to see. People don't want to see how the sausage is made, but they like sausage. You know what I'm saying? This is birdhouse. I don't. Yeah, it's this birdhouse. is the birdhouse. But we make sausage, and sometimes if you like see how the sausage is made, it could be like a funny little joke. That like the joke is that they don't even know how to do an intro, and that's like it's, you know. But you yeah. just see it as like, oh, we're just yeah. stupid and dumb, <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, but stupid and dumb is also comedy. It is. So, this. That's Some why we're on opposite ends, though, because we have different <laughs> opinions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. It's true. I'm here to keep the divide. Right. Yeah. Kyle's uh, Kyle's the peacemaker. Yeah. I'm the referee. Yeah. The Kyle difference. Yeah. 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 The, the, the Kyle, Kyle Canyon. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, Kyle Canyon. Kyle helps almost any situation. If you need a Kyle in any situation, this one. I'm, I'm the Kyle. This I'm one's here. the Kyle to yeah. ask. Because honestly, if, if you want to go into it, we did talk about it on Joe Rossetti with with him. Kyle's not. You guys have some not great reputations. Like, yeah. Oh, it's tarnished. That's yeah, why, it's that's tarnished. Not, dude. That's why there's so much shit on the wall. Dude, there's nothing but holes. Yeah. yeah. Behind the, like this drywall. Yeah, during episode it. zero. Yeah. 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 We threw we threw Kyle on the boards first episode and then realized that we might as well just use one camera. Yeah. Because this room is fucking small. And I messed up a lot. You didn't mess up a lot. A couple times. I mean, if they watched the first one all the way through, then you did good enough. 
Thanks. You know what I mean? Yeah. Thanks, guys. Uh, this is like a hack because they're gonna go back and watch the first one to see <laughs> yeah. all your fuck ups. <laughs> yeah. Right. No. And then we we went. We that's how. It. This is how I. No, went. they've watched episode one tw- or episode zero twice. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Would we'll watch okay. it again? The episode zero twice would still be episode zero. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like zero times two. Yeah. That's. I'm just. I mean, you could joke. watch. Yeah, you could watch episode <laughs> one twice, and it'll also still be episode one though. That's true, but. <laughs> <laughs> but. <it's, laughs> But it depends on how you look at it, you know? No. Yeah. It doesn't. <laughs> guys, guys. Yeah. Come on. Let's Fuck. keep this civilized here. God damn it. No. So what, no, what's going on? What's What's been the week? How's How's everyone's week? How are we doing? This is, yeah, we, we have we explained what the show is? Like, what, are we just? No, we're just talking, man. I guess we're just talking. That's pretty much all it is. The show is us talking. So, Kyle, Kyle, what have you been up to this week? Birds chirping. Kyle in the wants to talk whole, about his not, week, dude. Not a whole lot at how's, all. How's man. life uh, cooking? How, how's it cooking? It's cooking well. I watched uh, Punch Drunk Love again. Ah, nice. For the fourth time this year. Adam Sandy's. Yeah, definitely Adam I gotta Sandal's watch it. best performance. I have never seen it. Adam Sandler. It's, it's Sandal. pretty good. Yeah. I've pretty seen, like, good. clips of it. But I love it. I know you It's my favorite PTA. I know. Yeah. yeah, I've heard. Yeah. Are you, uh, are you into Inherent Vice at all? Or is Inherent it? Vice that? fucking sucks. That's a... Yeah, <laughs> I haven't so seen bad. that. It's his one mulligan, dude. Yeah, I yeah, love yeah. PTA. But... Well, it's it's so like, it's almost like it's like he's trying to be like a college <clears throat> kid writing a script, mm. and it's not. Like it yeah. just seems cheap. Uh, that was nineties, right? Well, and that, uh, no, no, it was no, like, like, like mid, like uh, early, late two thousand aughts okay. or whatever. It was late, yeah, I think early like two thousand twelve, yeah. Early I aughts, know. late. Whatever. Well, I, know, I know he like went through like a phase. Yeah. So might have been like a transitional period for him. Like he went through like, a phase. Yeah. What was He's tra- what was Paul Thomas phase? Anderson transitioned. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> he went through I a phase. Believe it was drugs. Uh, I can't. If you look in his eyes, oh, you can kind of guess. The thing about inherent vice is like it has so much potential and it yeah. just like goes mm. nowhere. No, but that's what I mean. Is it's like like it has like a great idea. Yeah. And all the pieces are there. Yeah. But it's like some kid just wrote it and was like, all right, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. And like that's what I feel about my yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's like every ten pages, like this was really cool. Yeah. yeah and then he just yeah. writes a separate cool ten pages. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah it's just I, never I haven't seen yeah. uh, Magnolia either. Oh, Ooh, I that love was, Magnolia. He like had a breakthrough with that. That was yeah. a good movie. Yeah. yeah. Dude, Tom Cruise in that though, Woo. so good. Legit, yeah. one of his. I think it might be his best performance. Like, no, yeah, I agree. Over, like in terms yeah. of like dedication and like how Intensity, in the role, and he's kind of perfect Ooh. for the role that they give him, which like sure. the you know being like the like incel coach or mm-hmm. whatever. Yeah, exactly. Dude, like incel coach. Like, I don't know what you call him. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> a motivational speaker. <laughs> uh, incel coach. <laughs> motiva- incel coach. <laughs> dude, it's all this. Dude, all that shit's a scam anyway. That's so funny. What? Well, what? I mean, like, it, like motivational speakers. Oh, it's a hundred percent. It's just to sell you shit. Right. Well, and that's they the don't, thing. Dude, if you, if you get if you get better, they can't keep selling you books. Right. Yeah. Well, that's... So they're just gonna give you the most advice that keeps you fucked up. Right. Yes. So that's a critique of capitalism. Yeah. Not a not a critique of that. Well, no, it's thing. also a critique of them though. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, if they chose that in their line of work. Yeah, like they're yeah. choosing to engage in that. Like you hear people are like, well, you know, just like just do it, like hustle culture. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, and it's very much like, it, it. You don't take into account any sort of nuance in anyone's life. No. Like, like a, a dying relative. Don't do it. I do help them. Don't die. Go no. Go help the relative. Like, if you want to start a business, but your mom is like dying of whatever, or like your cousin or whatever, and like they don't have anyone, and you know, don't do it. You know what I mean? Like, don't just do it. Just like. Like, yeah. just do it could be abandon everything that true, is valuable true, in your okay, life okay. and go for this. Yeah. Just do it. Yeah. Just do it. It's, it's like, you know, it's, it's like... It's impulse. It, it's the thing. It's like people are like, oh, if I can do it, anyone can. Yeah. And it's like, I don't I forget what the phenomenon is called, but it's like a real thing where it's like, you just don't see everybody else who's failed. It's like, you know... Yeah. Like, you know, Joe Rogan's like, I built my podcast from the ground up, yeah. you know? After, you know, the, you know, hosting Fear Factor for four seasons yeah, or right. whatever. It's like... And putting yeah, out yeah, several comedy real, specials yeah, yeah. on Netflix this before they were UFC, popular. This is, yeah, you have yeah. This is real grassroots, guys. Yeah, this is like, this is real grassroots. Yeah. Like, oh. literally got in like the most popular things of all time right now. Yeah, twenty years ago. Yeah, exactly. That's, exactly. He's like, I don't know. Right. Why did, like, I just did it. I built it from the ground up. Two thousand eight, dude. Yeah, no dude. prior success. Yeah. Like, no one ever does. It's like, if I could do it, anyone can. Yeah. It's like, well, I that's why. I, I mean, we're we're dumb enough. We bought all this shit. Yeah. Yeah. We're not. We're dumb enough to think I that we can. All this trick is. Yeah, you we, bought all of it. We. Yeah. <laughs> No, we just we we like your face, Kyle. We keep you around. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Thanks. You're the looker. You're the. Yeah, that's why I put you in the center. 
thanks. Yeah. The camera, yeah. the the sides of the lenses aren't as sharp as the center. Yeah, my yeah it's all about you, dude. It's yeah. just, you don't have a good side. It's just all good. You uh, are the the good side is the middle yeah. in between us. Yeah. The good side is your whole yeah, face, yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Except for the good side is your front like... side, bro. <laughs> the good side is your front side. That's all. Yeah, except for your neck snapping yeah. in this. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Which I w- I wanted to get a circle tape. I will say. So, I, apologies. It's I could not find one. for a table. Well, a circle, it, it allows for, you know, uh, yeah. birds around, of the around, round table. A round, round table. Yeah. It, 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 what was it, would it be? A, a curve? I guess you could call it? Where there's a curve. So, a curve instead of this really sharp corner. An arc? Yeah. An yeah, arc. okay. Yeah. You have, like, we're kind of not, you don't have to do the neck thing as much. That's, I feel like, that's what that does. Okay, you just stare into the camera the whole time, well, even while you're talking to one of us. Or, eventually, we, with, if we do the studio thing, we should get, like, we should do, like, what those, um, the Wall Street Journal does with those interviews for the, the directors and stuff, where it's, like, a round table, and then we all sit oh, on, like, oh, yeah. We, we make, like, a triangle in the table, and yeah. they have, like, eight cameras. Yeah, and it's oh, just, right. like, we each get a single. There's a dolly. You know, that sounds way, way easier, yeah, honestly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that sounds way easier than Kyle turning his head. Right. I don't right, know right. why we, why are we even doing this now? That's You're what not I'm saying. So that's, Where's the dolly? There's options. <laughs> Why didn't I buy a dolly? Yeah, yeah, you t- yeah that's what we were supposed to bring it. That's fucking- it's, it's negligence at this point, to be honest. <laughs> Kyle was on bill for the dolly, the circle table, uh, Betty White. He, he was supposed to book Betty White by now. <laughs> Betty and White. He, she's not even here. We, we, gotta, we gotta check. We gotta check. We, we gotta, gotta check. double check. Okay, so this is our one and only segment on this show. <laughs> uh, is Betty White alive? Betty still? White is alive. And it, yes, confirmed. She is alive. January 17th, we will have the cake. January 17th. I will be responsible for that. I will bring the cake. Yeah, honestly, you for should. Those, for those, that was your idea. For those who didn't watch episode zero, <laughs> yeah. January, it's her birthday. And she's turning 100, you know? Yes. Yeah. Which Betty is White. like the only birthday that anybody cares about after 21. Exactly. Yeah. You, well, right. Yeah. That's another topic we went into yes. on the first podcast. Which you can watch. No, 50. I said now. 50. I made Why an argument now? for 50. Well, and also 69. You got to you gotta think, that's a monumental, that's a whole year of being 69. Mm. Like, if you made it to that point, like, that's your... Good That's your you. lap. That's yeah. your take a take a lap. You know what I mean? You just won. Like there's, past sixty nine. There's, like, there's not much. You, what else you could do? Watch the news. <laughs> you watch the news. Watch the news and vote. <laughs> yeah. That's those are your two uh, hobbies. Yeah. Well, by the time we're sixty nine, we it's probably still working. Uh, we'll or be, we'll be right here. Over time, it'll just be like eighty seven. Yeah. Nah, but that's that's the thing is if you if your work is some dumb shit like this, then you don't you don't need to retire. Cause you're just you don't showing even have up to watch it. the news. You just you just talk. <laughs> you just make up the news. Yes, it, on your own. So what's been going on in the news lately? So Kyle? what? <laughs> uh, yeah, Kyle, you're Betty the White's alive. <laughs> I mean, come on. Um, it's the only news that matters. Is there news? Is there what like news happened? I don't watch the news. Did anything? Well, like, is there movie news? Like, what movies came out? I don't even know. No. I saw the French Dispatch and. Uh, Last about, Night in Soho. Didn't we talk about that last We night? talked about the French Dispatch. We did. Last I didn't night in Soho. Yeah. I watched Last Night in Soho. Very good. Yeah. Big. Uh, I would say it, they're, it's not as good in terms of like the the dialogue and the writing of like a Hot Fuzz or like a whatever. So is it like an action comedy? It's like a thriller horror movie. Oh. Like it's, he made a horror movie. Okay. And it's like. I like she, Anya Taylor-Joy a lot. So yeah. She's I'll really good. I'll definitely it. check it out. And she sings like Downtown and it was straight up stuck in my head for like. Wow. Maybe downtown a week. where the neon signs it's are still, pretty? That yeah. one? Nice. Downtown. You Keep can no better with. Downtown. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, we might get copyrighted for that. That was too close. Yeah, it's uncanny. It was, <laughs> I was like, I might have been, might Perfect as well have been. Bitch. That's crazy. Anya. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. And oh, shit, dude. You got the voice of an angel. We have to buy the rights now. Down, down. We got to, uh, that's that's our next segment is the Connor solo. Yeah, I sing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> you, the guy that hates segments. <laughs> yeah. Bringing up the second segment. Well, you guys seem to love him, so. I just like fun, you know? Can yeah, we just have fun? You're not having fun. I'm always having fun. That's yeah, the, with that's a frown trick. on your face. Yeah, you smile. say that. That's the trick. <laughs> that's the trick. That's the trick of it, and I'm always having fun. That's mm. oh, is that your Avengers? It, yeah, exactly. like that's my secret cap. I'm always having fun. I'm having a blast. <laughs> I'm having a blast right now. Dude. You look like it. Yeah. Thrilled. How is it? Oh, by the way, how's that allergy medicine 
Cause it's fine so far. Does it work? Is it working? Yeah, I mean, I think so. I just you feel like your eyes tell. are a little glossy. They were glossy last time though too. Mm, right. And I still had, like, I take one anyway. Right. So like, I'm just trying. It's gonna dog. happen. <clears throat> Do your dogs come in this room? All <clears throat> no, never. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, my dogs have. That's good. One of them, two of them have come in this room for okay. moments. Do and like, that's it. They, do they normally come upstairs or no? no. Okay. No, gotcha. They're all downstairs dogs. Gotcha. Because we're terrible people. No. I, uh, I They're not my dogs, so I don't get to decide what happens with them. Fair enough. But they're not they're not allowed upstairs. And that's final. Yeah. Whatever. Except for two of them, because they get to sleep in one of the rooms. So, whatever. I'm not going to... Not, not going to say anything. They probably cause chaos. Uh, let's just say I want to move out. Mm. And it's fine. Like, it's fine, but I want to move out. It's fine. Like, like it's not like, we're not in like Libya. Shit's not like terrible, but like I want to move out. Like yes. it's somewhere between those two. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, not to get political. <laughs> but, could be a lot worse. Yeah, what's the news uh, on Libya? Did yeah, you know Libya. Was... Uh, someone what's, got hurt. What's wrong with Libya? Someone actually. got hurt. Why don't you want to be in Libya? You can't tell me that Libya is like fine right now. I just I don't know Venezuela anything about Libya, like so I, I never refrain yeah. from commentating. That's um, a good point. Libyan politics. Oh, well, shit. there's just always some shit going down over there. So I'm like, is I, there? I don't know. Okay, I have a question, Connor. If we brought a globe out, yeah, <laughs> could you point to where Libya is? Yeah, I think I think it's in Africa. Like it's a northern, Africa's northeastern, a huge continent, no, northeastern bro. Africa. Absolutely massive it's, continent. It's not by South Africa. <laughs> yeah. I think okay, that's okay. for sure. Okay. If anything, it's either mid east or northern eastern Africa. There's no hate in this heart. <laughs> <laughs> no hate. In There's this somewhere. Heart. There's somewhere on the globe. What Lib- Libyans? Yeah. <laughs> yeah chilling. Dude. They are. I'm sure they. Are. No, because I think that was or was that. Uh, Syria was that like Sadat, Gaddafi and all that. Uh, I'm not saying we have to get political. I, I'm just I don't trying know to know where Gaddafi was. Yeah, he was a guy. Was he Libyan? I don't know. That's why I'm was he Venezuelan? concerned. <laughs> it might, might have been. Man. Might <laughs> or have is been. that is Venezuela the one where they have the the motorcycle squads that like shoot that's people? Colombia. That's Colombia. That's Colombia. That's Colombia. Yes. Yeah. That, or that. the Philippines. Philippines do it too? No, it was the Philippines because that's what the Philippines, the government, the like, Tom Segura in the Philippines, where they have if like you're... motorcycle squads that will shoot people on site that are on or suspected of being on drugs. Yeah, okay. And yeah, Colombia is homeless, and, and their dictators like super popular. Yeah, people yeah. love the death squads, man. Oh. Dude, there's great. definitely nothing else going on. People love <laughs> they death just squads. love it. They just love it. Crimes down, <laughs> drugs. They're not afraid. Yeah, just <laughs> do them in your house, people. They Come love on. it. Just got to do them in your house. They so love they, it. I think the moral of the story is if you're there, just like that, you want to move out too. Generally, like you want, you don't want to be there, but just, don't do drugs. But not no. What, like, what is it with you and like not wanting to be in the Philippines? No, but that's what I'm saying is like, I want to move out because I don't like the certain situation that I have in this that I was born into, mm. and ah. they would like to, they should or would probably like to move out, but for much worse circumstances. I feel they probably just want to change their country. No, but that's what I'm saying. Or they want the people out of their country. But do you yeah. get what I mean? Is it's like, like it's just funny. Not I don't know about funny, but in terms of like scale, it's interesting to me that like this is a big problem for me that There's I me. need to move out. And then that's like going on, and I'm like, the water's warm. It's not cold. It's not hot. It's not getting hot enough. Like you know, you know, you know like honestly, man. There's no more comedic thing than Filipino death squads. Yeah. Well, you gotta go, you gotta go into the dark to find the light. <laughs> yeah, it's hilarious. That's it. I'm it's laughing. fun for everybody. They're not afraid. We should bring them to the U.S. They're not afraid. Yeah, we should, we should have them on the podcast. They're doing it right. <laughs> yes, honestly. Yes, they're doing it right. If we bring murder squads on this podcast, we're gonna have to like do the blackout face thing though, or like the Will voice. We, we could do well, the voice changer thing. They'll, yeah, they're, like that's that's endorsed by their government. No, I but think. I'm saying we get them over here. Yeah, like but... we'll we'll have we'll fly them out. Once we get to the studio, yeah. once we start earning some money, we'll fly all of them out and get them, you know, as as good of a flight as they would like. I'll I talk think. to my guy. <laughs> I'll talk to my if guy. Any, uh, well, they Filipino def- death squads are watching. <laughs> they please definitely sponsor have us. The... Follow the link in the description. <laughs> Email us. Yeah. I think We'd they love do GoFundMe. They we'll do have the leverage. Script. Yo, that'd be actually <laughs> sick if we could get a Filipino death squad member to call in. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, let's do it. But that's what I mean is like, you're kind of on their terms. 
Because like they have a very I just, maybe strong not in personality. Person. We should do it on Zoom. No, yeah, we can do. We can work something. It's safer to do it on Zoom. I'm not, but that doesn't mean they can't send someone over here. Yeah. They, I don't think you know. they would. Well, we'll have to get NordVPN. Sure? We have to Please get Nord also sponsor yeah, us. We need some sponsors. <laughs> so if Express, Nord, anyone Raid. wants to give us Raid, Shadow Legends. Go, Connor, we can't ask for that, dude. Kyle's going to fuck us out no, of we it. Want, we no, want I want it so that I don't have to pay Kyle. I'll get the trolley. You, you know, get the, the, the Raid Shadow. Or whatever. <laughs> the, the, <dolly>. the Raid <laughs> Shadow Legends money. Yeah. The Raid Shadow Legends sponsored Dolly. Yeah. The, I'll, get the tri- I'll get the triangle <laughs> table. <laughs> yeah. It has a fucking, uh, like, a lower third every time it's the Dolly shot. And it's sponsored, <laughs> it's sponsored by, by Ray Channel. Channel Legends. This shot is sponsored Everything by Ray Channel Legends. Everything on the Dolly is just Kyle talking about, like, <laughs> hey, I've been playing Ninja today. I've been loving Ninja. He's really cool and limited edition. Kyle dude. character. Yo, you can get Kyle. <laughs> you can get Kyle. You can get Kyle, dude. His special punch, ability, dude. Kyle. It's like the Kyle Keanu Reeves. Like, they put Kyle and Keanu Reeves in it because, like, Fortnite did it. And now they're like, yeah, dude, they put Ninja in it. Yeah, well, they, in yeah, Raid they just, Shadow Legends, some guy. Yeah. They put Ninja. What's his name? What's his real name? I don't know. It's funny, isn't it? Like, isn't that crazy that we know a guy by like just Ninja Chance? No, I don't Chance. Know. No, that's Soda Poppin. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Fuck. I, it's just silly. You like, change you got, it to like, Ninja. You got, like orcs and shit. Like or, orcs and shit in there, and it's like that's just that Ninja, boy. like a fucking skinny guy. Dweeb, just, yeah. yeah. He hey changed guys. his name legally. He's like, I'm really ninja. good at Halo, dude. Yeah. In Fortnite. So are we gonna are we gonna start a ninja beef? Or is that do you wanna do that episode one? No, yeah, we should fuck ask that him guy. if he wants we to talk sponsor nin- us. Yeah. <laughs> we should. We need money and support. So I don't know how I much fucking hate shit ninja. we have I'm to do. Right. I wanna burn that bridge too. right now. Yeah. I don't have any opinion on the man. I just want to burn. I will bridges. accept I your money. That's, that's you good burn content. Him? No, burn bridges. Like I just yeah. like, at the stake. Somebody that we, we might talk to, just burn that bridge right away, mm. dude. Well, yeah. we can ma- we could rename I, the podcast. We don't need if anybody. You want. Burning bridges. Burning bridges. <laughs> <laughs> just talking shit. Yeah. Just for the straight <laughs> hour. <laughs> just ruining our careers that's a good, and lives. That's good content. That's, yeah, that's great content. I just want to be how for to that create the most locally. enemies. I don't want to have any friends except the ones in this room. Thanks, man. Yeah, of course. I mean, I could use. A few more. Ah, <laughs> like two. Oh, damn. But who cares? At the end of the day, dude, what's, a, what's a friend? You know? Maybe one know, of the man. Death Squad members. Definitely not will. Ninja, though. De- not Ninja. <laughs> not, not, ninja a ninja not a Death Squad member. Not. Yo, they got families to feed. I think we should lay off the Death Squad members a little bit. Oh, so you're. The, you, but you, like are Ninja. You, are you anti Death Squad? No, I'm pro Death Squad. Okay. They just got, make sure. They got. <laughs> pro, pro Filipino death squad. Okay. What about the Colombian death squads? Uh, I'm a little bit less first in yeah. Colombian. Mm. I don't want to. We're even gonna refrain from commenting on that one. Okay. Right. Fair enough. Because like you know one one's like supporting drugs, which is the Colombians, I think. Right. Like they kill people. They kill homeless people, I believe. Oh, in I don't know. I watched a Vice documentary. Uh, it was probably yo, dude, wrong. They just make they were, sure. They were probably just in Hollywood. Yo, Vice, dude, Vice has not how been many, relevant since people... they went to North Korea in 2012. Yeah. <laughs> how many people that look like you have been, you know, I watch this Vice documentary? <laughs> Too many. This shit's crazy. Too many. Too many. <laughs> Well, that looked like all of us. Yo, really, like, can but... we, like, Vice sucks now. Like, oh, yeah, it's, like, oh it's, it's so not. stupid. Yeah. It used to be, I used to actually. I wonder, okay, wait, I wonder. Fuck That's Delicious I wonder, was on Vice for so long. Yo, that was Vice yo, World, though. Action, that wasn't bro. Vice News. Oh, no. It's well, like its I own mean, thing. Bro, I never watched Vice I just want to pull up some examples of, like, Vice content. Because this shit it's gets all so, just like, so it's fucking It's all just, like, stupid. weed, like, Mormons. Weed. Yeah. And, like, I don't know. Yeah, oh, That's yeah, probably, that one dude. It. Oh, what's his name? Oh, that fucking <laughs> uh, mushroom guy. Was he Mormon? No. The dude, he's got his own show. He's got Mushroom like guy. wireframe glasses. He, ah, uh, fuck, brown hair. He goes to like other countries and like just like experiments with like their local drugs or whatever. Oh, okay. I forgot his yeah, name. Yeah, it's like I noticed that that's a lot of their like it's, audience is probably just people that are into like guys. Drugs. Drug stuff, recent article stuff. from the once great journalistic company who you know went Spike to North Jones. Korea, etc. Uh, a recent article. I ran the New York City Marathon way too high. Some really cutting edge Gee, stuff. It's all, like, it's <laughs> it's just, just it's all, weed. Yeah. yeah, it's all just try hard. Well, it's cl- it's clickbait stuff. Oh, totally. Yeah, totally. and it's, I mean, it seems to be working. I guess. But at totally. one point, it was good content. 
Well, right that's click on NFT meant to, that's actually kind of funny. I, I find that stuff funny. What? Like, uh, they're talking about like uh, people who just say, I saved, I, I own the NFT because I right clicked save oh, image. Yeah. They took a <laughs> screenshot. Like, no, dude, yeah. I own the non fungible token, dude. Yeah. It's like, no, dude, I got it. That shit's crazy, file. right? Like, that shit is like obviously a scam. NFT. Am I oh, wrong? NFTs? Yeah, they're totally a scam. Well, I, I would say that they're a scam <laughs> in the same way that like uh, playing cards and art is a scam. Just in general, like paintings, like yeah. it didn't cost eight hundred million dollars for you to paint that. Yeah, it didn't take that much time. I mean, it didn't take. And all the rich people are going to do is just write that off on their taxes. And this is just the digital way of doing that. It depends though, because if I see like a, a port or a, a picture no. and it's just like a square, yeah. Like, but like, if I'm you like, hear somebody talk about NFTs, don't... it's it's like I I think that art can be worth a lot of money. Like yeah, if you I get agree. like a Picasso, like Picasso made that. Like that's worth a lot of money. Right. I mean, I know there's a lot of reproductions of some of this, stuff, but it's beside the point. Like if you get like a Rembrandt or something, mm-hmm. like okay, sure, that's going to be worth a lot of money because there's a lot of talent that went into it. But it's like. It's like if somebody like sold a billionaire, they're like, okay, I'm going to sell you a key to come into the museum to look at the Rembrandt. You I own guess. the key. You don't own the artwork itself. Yeah. Well, but it's also... Because the non-fungible token is like a key that proves But that's why owner. I said it's about... Like, it's totally like just sense. made that's up value. Analogy. That's it's why like, I'm saying... Like, well, I would, if, dude, if I owned a Rembrandt, I'd be like, well, I'd take it. Yeah. But yeah. that's just because we place value on it in our minds as they have talent. And what is talent? That doesn't... Like, to put a value on someone's talent is, like, the most arbitrary thing that you could really do. Because, like, I I mean, I, all I'm saying is with the uh, playing cards and how playing cards are looked at in today's society, there are certain cards that they will just print, like, four of, and they will just it exponentially oh, increase in value. Like, oh, oh, you yeah. mean, like, Over Pokemon time. cards. That's I, what I'm I thought saying. you were talking about, like... Baseball winning cards on too. blackjack or something. No, no, no I'm talking I, I about like, like yeah. Magic the Gathering. Yeah, I was in like the, all that shit. It's I was like, into Magic like growing up, but it was only because the cards looked so cool. That's, yeah. So what's I, the like, difference? Yeah. So I kept well, them no, all in the see, case like, for the, years. The thing is, was like in my opinion, like the value's like actually there. Like you can prove that there's only like four of them. Whereas, like, you can literally right-click, save. Like, you're not actually getting any tangible benefit from an NFT. Well, you're getting... You know what I mean? Like, if you own, like, to, no, but like a Black Lotus... It's like the you, status. Right, but it, yeah. all value is going to be arbitrary. No, so but it doesn't matter. I mean. Like, pointing out that it's arbitrary is, like, if someone, a non-factor. Okay, so if someone had... You're talking to someone at a bar, and they tell you they have a Black Lotus cart. And they're just like, I got it. It's at my house. It's, it's on a thing. They show you a picture of it. And they're like, I got this. And then it's cool. And then you're really into magic, and you're like, whoa, that's crazy. Whoa, you're doing it. So imagine that same thing. A guy has an NFT. He owns the non-fungible token to it, and then he's just, like, bragging to people that he paid this much for that, which is, like, it's the same shit of, like, this is worth nothing. This is nothing. That's what I'm saying. It's, like, like the NFT whole, like, culture around it is, like, just made up to, like. Well, it's, it's trendy. It's trendy, yeah, yeah, but it's exactly. like totally like a yeah. like a, it's like pump and dump. But it was the same when like Bitcoin like they're got like big, yeah they're like, like yeah just, it's like, like all that stuff is people like people saw like the value of it without mm-hmm. like looking into it. People were just like oh anybody can have this. It, but it, I got well, I made money on Bitcoin, but like, well, but that's the thing. It pe- people will only the value will only increase in Bitcoin if people think that Bitcoin is going to do well. Like it's it's completely reliant on the uh, like client base. And like the popularity of it, so like if as as long as it continues to grow, then yes, that does make sense. Yeah. But it's like if it's like if people lose interest or people move over to Dogecoin from Bitcoin, because if there's like a Bitcoin hack, dude, how many people do you think are gonna sell their Bitcoin? Almost everyone. And then fucking how how much do you think Bitcoin's gonna be worth? Nothing. So it's like well yeah it's like any like I mean I'm, but that's just, what I I'm mean. just saying like it's completely like you're it's not black you're not lotus, actually the getting anything no but like in the black lotus you're getting like at least something that you can yeah, like, go and get no yeah, but, but like, even bitcoin delete... you can transition yeah. that what like, do you mean you can't delete like big, like the non fungible token is just like this like fancy way of like saying that you have access to it yeah yeah but it's like if you have a black lotus you have like the you physical have thing. the physical thing like you can but you have access to it yeah but like yeah but you can. You, you can have, look up a Black Lotus online right now. Look at the picture. Right, but there's no value in that. I'm saying, so that's what people are selling with NFTs. People are I, selling, go look up the Black Lotus, and that's what they're selling. Yeah. yeah. Right. But, so, like, that's what I'm saying is bullshit. But at the same time, if uh, it is bullshit. But the Black Lotus is also bullshit. 
No, but the Black Lotus is, is the actually one, rare. You actually like, have it, a Black Lotus. It's paper with a picture on it. Yeah, but, yeah, it's, but it's actually it's, rare. It's like one of the biggest, like, Oh, my God. This piece, of paper, this piece of paper is loved by billions. This piece of paper, millions of people would love to own this piece of paper. But I have it. So that makes me cool. That's what you're saying. Right. I, but it. what I'm saying is, is like NFT is, is going to be right now. Billions of people want to own it, but they no. It's some, not but I'm because the Black Lotus will never drop in value. It'll never depreciate. It will if people get sick of Max Gathering. They won't though. That, how do you know? Because it's the biggest. It's like the I biggest got, no, card you, game in the world. But I understand your point. Yes, but, I think that okay. No, you're, 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 you're talking right. about the arbitrarity of value, like in general. Yeah. But I'm saying like what an NFT is was like this extra thing that was like created to like scam people out of money. Like specifically, like, like the Black Lotus is valuable things off of because taxes. it was rare. Yeah, it was the, the created. Of things. Yeah. It was created to play the game. Yeah, and it became a rarity and like a, a cultural relic, relic yes. kind of thing. Yeah, an NFT is like a like a trendy like I was just saying it's a scam like it's developed intentionally to to like be like a pump and dump scheme mm-hmm. where you get a bunch of people very very interested in this thing that you created whether it's like a fake stock or whatever mm-hmm. like bullshit stock, and then you cash out yeah. you sell it to some fucking bum yeah. and then it's like but but there's no way to guarantee that that value is ever going to transition but that's the that's the thing that is the difference i would say in between them is that one it's the intention well it's it's the like um i guess the ability to appreciate it i guess because you aren't like if you own the uh nft and you just have access to it and it's like I can also look at that picture from my phone. It's like there's no right. I'm just like I'm not debating the arbitrarity of like assigning value to something. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, is like when you look at like the way the value is developed, like yeah. NFT comes off like a pump and dump scheme, where people were blowing it up just to unload it. Yeah. Whereas the the Black Lotus's value came naturally through scarcity and through general like cultural interest in it from Magic the Gathering players yeah. because of its rarity. Well, so, so it, it, so it wasn't more a genuine. scam. Like yeah. it, it yeah. wasn't yeah, a yeah. scam in its intention. But so it's it, like that was more what I was same, commenting on. The, it uses the same psychological well, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Well, also, all, but that's, that's, that's all value. Yeah. That's all yeah, value. That's is value. Like all value is going to be arbitrary to like the, whatever no, is relative to... People are always going to appeal to just rare things in general. Well, yeah, that's what I mean. But But rare art has compared to mass produced art rare art that doesn't have any no it doesn't have any intrinsic additional... value other than humanity like but that's the thing a, about a, nfts a bird or a bear would love like a bunch of food but if you gave them like an iphone they're not going to do, do, do no it doesn't have shit. any it's just the value no, that i mean there's no like, inherent right, right. value it's all all value is always going to be arbitrary because it comes from people yeah. yeah but my point is like the nft was created with the intention of like there's not like the value in it is like from an idea of like this artificial scarcity where it's like it's completely made up that oh you you are the only well, like you only to, like, have this that's what i'm in. saying yeah, yeah. Well, so, they're trying but, to like, make art like, galleries like, there online is, there is and it's like just messy a, like from a certain set or whatever there's like a finite amount of black lotuses in the world yeah definably and an NFT was created. It's like it, it doesn't really like mean anything. There's no way like well, but, you because like the people, producers it's like of Magic the Gathering are the only ones that can like they can legitimately ruin the the rarity of the Black Lotus card by producing more of them. No, I but no, it's not no, like no, no, they can't though because like the originals are going to yeah. actually so, have a unique so do they value. Never, they have they will never produce any more of those. If they, no, they, if they produce, do. no, but see the value isn't to like the card text itself. It's to like the set. And oh, yeah. like the, the time of its release, right? Yeah. So it's like if you get like a base set Charizard that's like first edition, yeah, it's, it's going to be more way more. They make a print card. that card that looks exactly the same, right? But it, the base set yeah. first ed mint condition Char, it's always going to yeah. be worth more because it came out back then and there's less of it, right? And people can tell the difference. But my point about NFTs was like, yeah. But my point about NFTs was like, people will do like the self fulfilling prophecy where they'll be like, oh, an NFT is real. Be, or like an NFT has real value because I can make money with it, but it's like the same. It, that doesn't make it not a scam. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, that, I, like, I it's agree. like um, like what, what was that guy who got caught um, like with, like doing uh, it was a really famous thing back in the like two thousands where he like he did like a pyramid scheme where he was like giving assets. Like, he was taking a bunch of investors' money and just shuffling it around, but he was like cleaning out. I forget the guy's name. I think it's like a really saying, famous yeah. case. But I'm saying like. You, oh, you you can't oh, make that legitimate yeah. because no, it makes about. money. Like yeah. it, just because it makes money doesn't make it Bernie mean it's real value. Is that what you're you know? about? Yeah, Bernie Madoff. Yeah. So like he was scamming all <laughs> it's these people. It's crazy that that took so yeah, long. Yeah, it took way way time. <laughs> but it's like you got to think about it. Like okay, we're like, also like twenty. Yeah, so, like he yeah. scammed he scammed all these fucking people. Yeah. Or whatever. 
and you'd be, like, and you'd be like, oh, it was real because I made money with it. And it's yeah. like, well, no, that doesn't make it not a scam. Well, it's I, still like, I'm it's not trying to argue that it's not a scam. I'm just saying Magic the, the Gathering might as well be like, it's in the same vein, but it's not as much of a scam. But it is still sort of a scam because none of the shit. But I'm saying if you get somebody who well, pays ten k, really no, yeah, but, but I'm saying like, like, like if a you property value around, like matters. No, no, but like like on on paper, but like the thing property about value it, versus of a black like you could use a black lotus to buy a house. Yeah, but That's like so, crazy. You, but it's about the and person who land. pays for it, right? Like no, the but, person who pays for it. They go, you think they're gonna be like some people might have a house and they just want a black lotus now. Right, you know what I mean, and they want to live on the street. Yeah, but just if you have, staring at their but if you're getting scammed from like Bernie Madoff, and you, he can be like, you can't just be, he can't just be like, oh well, money doesn't mean anything because it's arbitrary, so let me off. No, I don't. You know do, what I mean? Like, no, that's you, not you, what I'm trying to say. No, I know, I get that, but I'm saying it still makes it a scam, right? Like, I agree. You get what I mean? But I'm I think saying it like, is a scam. Like, if but somebody I'm that, derives that, that is also a scam. if somebody derives twelve thousand dollars worth of pleasure from owning a black lotus. Yeah, that's a complete. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I, like okay, get off, like, get off to owning the yeah, black like, lotus. Yeah, whatever. Like, like that's not hurting anybody. That that has some value, you know. Yeah. If you get off to owning a black lotus. Yes, but in the same regard, it is like. I'm just talking about intention. Like, I think the intention is. Relevant. It's a distraction. That's all. At, yeah, at but, the end of the day, they're all distractions because that's that's what all this is coming to. We're all gonna die. Everyone's gonna be in the ground someday. So we're all like, "Oh, I got this! I got this! I got this!" And then we all die, and then none of it, then actually, none of it matters, actually means anything. Which yeah. is why I'm saying, if I owned four acres or a black five black lotuses, I might take the black lotuses. Dude. Fucking... That's a lot of space to tend to. I don't want to mow that lawn. <laughs> You're not I don't gotta, I don't gotta mow a bla- yeah. like a black lotus. Uh, so one black lotus get five acres. Yeah. Yeah. Hire somebody to <laughs> yeah, mow it. You I don't know? Even, like how much does a black lotus even? Oh, it's a lot. Uh, I'll try, it's I'll try. a lot. Like a, like like a mint condition. To really? 50 to 100, yeah. Oh plus. my God, dude, come on, man. Yeah. That's yeah. insane. That's what I'm, it's a fucking piece of paper. Yeah, it's insane. That's what I mean. It's like, it's legit, legitimately, it's just people oh being bored. Oh my, a black lotus <laughs> sold at auction in January for $511,000. Holy shit, fuck like that, Half I'm taking the black lotuses time. over the acres all day, dude. Yeah, but, what are you gonna, day. but are you going to sell the black lotuses? 100%. Oh God, damn What are you yeah. going to buy with it? Bunch of Whatever, shit. <laughs> way more than five acres. Way more than five yeah, acres. Okay. I'll tell you that. Bro. Put in X a variable for <laughs> acres to equal the amount that you would have for black lotuses. Dude, you can get wait, one black get lotus. Five black lotuses. So that'd be like what twenty five million dollars. Do you want? No, wait, sorry. One black What's lotus or a five hundred thousand dollar property in your name. A hundred thousand dollars. Five hundred thousand dollar property in your name or a black lotus. One of, one of those two things you can have. I don't gotta pay taxes on the black lotus. You don't yeah, gotta pay taxes. On <laughs> wait, okay, so you wait, gotta, you gotta if no you sell tax, it. There's no taxes. But if you sell it, yeah, but property the, the taxes is, are way higher than the uh, sales tax on. It's always right? gonna appreciate too. Like it's gonna go up in value. Yeah, like, every, I, I like know, every single year, the black lotus gets more and more rare. Yeah, there's that's... always gonna be collectors for anything. So if you own anything old or rare, right. and but I mean, you know, the, the value but if the creator of Magic the Gathering comes out as a pedophile, then do you think people are gonna keep playing the game? Oh yeah, hell yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. No. No way. You think Magic the Gathering? No way. Anybody gives a shit about You think Magic the Gathering? That's a good question. You think Magic the Gathering players care about pedophiles? Yeah, there's literally no way anybody yeah. cares, dude. That game's been around for like 47 years. Yeah, yeah legit. Like, what? It, like, it's not it, like Hollywood, you know. No, but that's what I mean. Like, it <laughs> yeah, but takes. People still see movies. It's all reputation. <laughs> but that's what I mean, though. Is like, I mean, I don't know. Why do people not care about Digimon anymore? Like, I don't even know what people Digimon? love Digimon. Wait, you don't know what the, you're not, it's Remind like, a, me. like Pokemon it's like competitor. Pokemon, but the shitty oh. ones. It's like a way shittier yeah. version of Pokemon. Mm. But that's what I mean. It's like, no one. There are probably Digimon cards out there worth pennies because yeah. that's their pieces of paper, and yeah. that's what they're. That's what they should be worth. Yeah. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. Is like it's. It's well, it's fine. always going to be about what people give a shit about. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's like, I mean, like, the kind, but I'm saying, like, I, my whole point was just like that the NFT is just, oh, it, no, it's NFT, just totally yeah. like, a, like, it comes off to me like a scam, but like, you get a black look, like, that's it's just the market, like, too, it's just though. like it developing like, itself, like you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, people mm-hmm. just have interest in that. But yeah. like, an NFT was created as like this, like, weird middleman to art to sell you a key, but you don't really own the art. It's like this weird, it just comes off wrong to me, and it doesn't seem like it's going to necessarily actually appreciate in value. Well, it's... <laughs> It honestly feels like they're trying to sell you like these are the original pixels that I yeah, used yeah, yeah. to create this drawing. You yeah. could own these pixels. Yeah, they could be in your phone, along with everyone else. Dude, but, oh, that's why they I, do I it. Heard it. Heard people I, stupid I, enough I heard to it. be invested in that. Yeah, I heard a hilarious story where like a guy bought like a Warhol Warhol drawing, mm. and then they made like, like a 20, doodle. Yeah, like he bought it for like ten thousand mm-hmm. dollars. 
uh, or whatever, 20,000, whatever it was. And then he was like, then he made 20 exact copies. <laughs> yeah. And he d- destroyed any way to tell the difference. Yeah. And then he would sell the copies for like a middle price. Yeah. And I, I don't know why I'm bringing, we were just talking about That's art. That's a good idea. But yeah, yeah, dude, it's hilarious. So there's like a one in like a hundred chance that you could get like, a, a painting or a, like a drawing that's now worth like a hundred thousand uh, dollars but then 19 of the 20 yeah. are like completely valueless copies well, and that's the thing and that's the, that, that's that a really good illustration the value of the yeah, look. Yeah, yeah dude it's like a really interesting like that's look crazy. into how value works it's like that you could have it like there's literally no way to tell if this thing that you bought is legitimate, but there's a chance. Yeah. yeah. There's a chance. And so it's like, the well, well where is like the, the value actually kind of, us. they look identical. Yeah. But like, you might actually have this original Warhol that is yeah. only, that has gone insanely valuable. But you also might just have a cheap copy that's probably worth $10. Right. So it's interesting. It's an interesting like look into how art like values. I'm sure there's a million derived. black lotuses out there, you know? Yeah. Right, like I'm sure I can it, draw yeah. a black lotus. I could just cut out, cut a piece of paper. Put it on eBay. Just draw it. 35 black bucks. Lotus. It might be a chance. It might be there might be a shot. There might be a shot. Honestly, like thirty bucks. Anyone wants it. Yeah. Yeah. Can you like like think about that? Like, and then would they you assume take me for the, copyright? The, you, I would totally take those odds. Like, if yeah, I had 100%. to put thirty five dollars in, and there's a chance I get five hundred thousand at the back end. Yeah, if I was a piece I'm, of shit, I would. Yeah, I would totally do that. Like, then why are we not doing that? Because I'm not a piece of shit. That's the reason I'm not doing it. Well, like charging that's, people. Well, it's like the like, same as like scalping, like like oh, buying yeah, like buying sure. tickets to a concert and yeah. then selling them for triple value, or like reselling. Yeah, oh no, yeah, it's totally you like a, like taking advantage uh, of yeah. like the circumstance. Yeah, I, did, I hate the resellers, the sneakers and stuff, and it's like that did, that that whole market value. Like that's the same thing with the uh, shoes. It's like they have value based on like their the 86 somethings and yeah. they were produced then and whatever yeah. and they'll they can can, do a re-release my thing here is like you can actually wear shoes you can't wear a fucking NFT you yeah can't. you can't wear a black lotus <laughs> you can, either you can talk about you can it play all day black lotus, you can play black lotus you can play black lotus, yes. lotus bro. <laughs> and then everyone everyone in the game just I don't even know what it does like I, I, I guarantee you nobody's like ever wins. played it yeah right like, <laughs> like, wins. Wins the game, yeah. Yeah. or it does nothing nobody's like oh I don't want to play it because it's like everyone like bows down can like, you imagine just if somebody like, was like 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 elon musk got really into magic the gathering and he just he just like, i'm sure he is he put yeah right fucking loser fucking and he, big nerd. He put, add he, three mana of any one color to your mana pool i'd imagine that's pretty good it's probably good yeah i don't know good. what any of that means i uh got into magic when i was like eight or nine just because the cards look really cool so like my grandma would get me a bunch of cards See, and I got I never into, played. Like, I never knew how to play. The other sort of magic at that time. Oh, the real magic? Yeah, like, did yeah. you ever get the bunny trick? No. <laughs> it was terrible. I was really bad. But I recently looked at my cards and I had a good amount. Like did you have probably any value? yeah. I found one that was like seventy seven dollars. It was like Ooh. a pearled unicorn Damn. or something like that. What did, were they good condition though? Or they they're like, all shoot, great condition. Oh really? You kept you kept them safe. Yeah, Fuck. they were all in like a card, like a plastic like card holder thing. Um, and I have hundreds of them. I still so, remember my mom. Did you resell any? Or you... No, I gotta finish going through them. Oh, and like and pricing. Yeah, like the worst is like little. You can see like little white along like the black like rim, so it looks like right. they well, were that, like that used. would be like lightly played or yes, right? yeah, 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 yeah. They're not mints by any means, but do you want to make money off of them? I don't know. I was thinking or like, like, do you want to just keep? Because you, like you they're said, gonna, they're yeah, just going to go. go up. They look cool. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I, cool. I do. I would like to play. I don't know how yeah. to, um, but I don't know if I could. Uh, Mm-hmm. I don't know if I could go to one and, of those stores any, and just be like, I want to play. Teach any, to play any, Magic any viewers Gathering. want to teach Kyle how to play Magic <laughs> yeah. the Gathering? Well, yeah. that's it. I've heard uh, there is sort of a gatekeeping sometimes where there's like, the, oh, there happen, they're like the right? nerd, yeah. they're the nerd dicks. Like how there's like the p- yeah you can't sit with us like yeah the mean you girls. can't sit the mean girls yeah. but nerds yeah. you, gotta wear, they, you gotta wear pink yeah. to play Magic the Gathering yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Do, you, do you even own a black lotus <laughs> <laughs> do you I, even I, have I, do, I do you I have thirty five <laughs> are those transition you can buy, you glasses you can buy one for thirty five dollars oh my god you missed my transition Kyle just gets oh, completely, I'm sorry. completely are those transition slammed? glasses <laughs> <laughs> you need transition glasses to be here and they're all like. And sunglasses that are slowly fading yeah, away. Like poker players. Yeah, they wear like hoods and like. And by the end sunglasses. of the scene, they have they're all regular glasses. Yeah. <laughs> that's now that's comedy. Did you pay the toll to become a magic player, Kyle? So is this is this the magic oh, episode or is this the? I, I think it'd be the think, value episode. I think it's definitely We've the NFT episode. The value. I just value in general. The concept of value. What is that? Because I did. I went on a bit of a tangent where it's just like, yeah, we're all gonna die, and this is distractions. But, you know. You can always give it down to a relative or something. I'm, not, I'm not gonna die. You're not gonna die? 
<laughs> you found the fountain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Back in, youth. back in, uh, what was it, 98 or something? Yeah, like back that? in 98, bro. Yeah. yeah. I was You've born looked like in that this whole yeah, time. Yeah, came out <laughs> looking like this, baby. Holy shit. Yeah. He's a big baby. <laughs> yeah. Nice. I'm a, some, some call me a big baby. Depends. Hmm. Depends on the day. I'm sorry. No, but I was going to say, uh, <laughs> you, <laughs> Daft Punk. You show up at work, what's up, Daft big Punk? baby? Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what's that Punk baby? Doing? They, uh, they broke up. That's earlier they, this year. I heard, I heard that they that were... That was so oh, long. That, Why, wait, what? That no, was like but six, that's... A, what the okay, fuck? it's going to come back. Are they so, wearing that's transition what I heard. glasses? Yeah. yeah. Were, they, did they, were they in the middle of a transitional period? Literally, you're not letting me finish. <laughs> so, Daft Punk <laughs> is... They broke up in whatever, uh, February, I think it was. Holy and then that... I had owned the Daft Punk homework album, the one uh, with Harder, Better, Faster, Stronger, yeah, okay. and like a bunch of good ones on there. And then I had sold it to a local record shop for under $20. Oh. And they, when they broke up, every vinyl that had ever been produced went. <laughs> and then I was just like, well, I got the wall art. Um, I got the in sleeve on my wall, yeah. but nothing else. So Damn. I, I fully, I hate all this like the reselling shit. I hate all this. Is that like, why? Oh, you, you would have loved like, it if you made like sixteen hundred dollars. No, but you're traumatized anyway, you from your that's uh, Daft Punk album every selling. Every single time that's why, <laughs> that I have something like that. It that's, just why goes. Like it that's why nothing matters. That's why nothing matters. Change it all. Nothing matters. Dude, that's legit. dude. He heard about the Daft Punk thing and he's like, I'm gonna be a nihilist now. This yeah. shit sucks. No, I'm saying in terms of like collectible nothing, shit like nothing that. Nothing has any meaning. I, I sold my Daft Punk right album. Here. Yeah, I could have been fifty dollars richer. I'm surprised you didn't know. Like, no offense or anything, but like vinyl. Especially like with the re, like by the time you got into it, you probably knew that it was kind of becoming a thing more yes. and more. And I also did not have a full time job mm. at the time. Yeah, and so you I need money. Yeah. Yeah. That's and fair. then they were just sitting there. Yeah. And then I was like, I don't really listen to this. And soon to realize yeah. that I would have wanted to listen to it a lot more. And I probably wouldn't have even sold it, to be honest. Like, I would have wanted to kept it as like, this is from before. <laughs> this is from the before time. From the before time. It's a relic. Yeah. But that's why, like, I bought that uh, the Random Access Memories. That was, like, their first repressing since they oh. broke up. And I was like, oh, I'm at least getting this. Yeah. Like, that's the bare minimum. Like, But I have, like, um, I have one of the Tame Apollo like, currents. Uh, I, I have a, currents. I have a box set, the, the 10 anniversary box set of um, Inner Speaker. I got, like, the whole, it's got, like, four albums. Nice. So, like, I do have things like that. But yeah. I don't know. I just... It, it makes me so nervous, and I'm always so, well, like... holding on to it? Well, just, I'm like, I could sell this, but I could also have this, and I could also not think about this at <laughs> Those all. Those are your two options. Yeah. No, but no, but the third <laughs> option would be to fuck it all. Oh, like, I don't want to, I just don't even want to deal with it. See, I want to be a vagabond. My I'm going to drop all of, my, all of my albums. No, I want to, if I could live without physical possessions other than, like, all of these camera shit and just to That's do this, I would love <laughs> yeah. that. I, uh, if I could live without physical possessions except all of the ones that I like. Well, no, just the just the stuff to do the work. Like I don't, yeah, I don't know. My problem I is I don't sell shit. anything. You just, you just I have show my original GI completely Joes. naked. <laughs> but you got a camera around you. Like, I, 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 I only believe in in physical <laughs> get, yeah. like possessions yeah. that are good for my work. <laughs> Dude, that's yeah, like, dude, wait, that, dude, that's, like that's like even more. That's like even more like kind of like, uh, you know, more capitalist than anything. Dude. Yeah. it's like you don't deserve to own anything that you well, don't enjoy. That's art. That can't it's not make you money, bro. That's art, man. That's art. That's no, artistry. dude. It's like it's like the bunker that we talked, or not the, the barracks that we talked about yeah, last oh, week. Yeah, no, the living room. The living room. You gotta rent the living room. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> wait, I'm sorry. You? Do you own things as a human being? <laughs> Time out. Don't need them. I just need my yeah. camera. Yeah. No, but did you work? How much did you work okay, this week? I'm not saying it's you like only some worked? shitty living room. Yeah. I'm saying it's like a really, really like high end. Like it's like you're staying at a rich person's house, but like you get to rent it for like a weekend. <laughs> yeah, know? it's fucked up. Like a room, one room. Honey, Ro I did it. I got condos. I got this weekend off. We're gonna <laughs> get the we're going to the living room. room. <laughs> Let's sit down on a couch. This is living room. The you know, when my parents rooms. grew up, they could just go to their living room after they after <laughs> yeah. they worked. You, I hope okay. Amazon makes like a real life gonna... squid game where they actually <laughs> where they actually murder people. That'd be awesome. You want that happen? I would love to watch that. That's content. That's good content. You You'd be involved, bro. I would love to. Amazon, if you want to sponsor the podcast, 
Kyle will uh, lead it. Kyle will lead production. Yeah, I, uh, uh, he's got some good ideas for games. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll volunteer his tribute <laughs> yeah. for the Amazon Squid Games. That's a games. different movie. You can't say that. <laughs> well, Squid Games is a show. You, you, <laughs> you know. Well, it's also a book. The other thing was a book. Squid, Squid Game was, was not a book. a book. No, Hunger Games was a book. Squid yeah. Game was definitely and that's what a you did. Dude, you heard about yeah. the story. He made right? a I, just Games ma- I just make references. With the Squid Game. Yeah, put that's, one, you can't do one that. and two together. You can't. Why? The world's going to implode. Oh. Like, if you put did you put too many references in All we need is an Amazon sponsor. I, I think something. it's a good idea, though, because, like, you end up with, like, less people than you had before. Yes. So more money for everybody else. Yep. And you're also and dwindling the you're population, all, yes. less pollution. Yes, exactly. Less mm-hmm. pollution. Because, you know... I think the, you know, the, the it's, pandemic it's a good way, really did the it's population a good way thing. That the, I, it wasn't it's a good way. It's a good way that the population can really reduce their carbon footprint. Yeah. Yes. As if they participated in Amazon's Squid Game. Yeah, it was a Squid <laughs> yeah, Game. Yeah. yeah. An Amazon Prime original. Yeah. Presented by the Amazon Living Room. Do you think they're like the Jeff, they Bezos, like, Jeff Bezos' Jeff, his living room? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. It's his living. He's yeah. got like he's he's on the on the poster for he's it. He's wearing that fucking mask. Yeah, he's got, yeah, he, has yeah. that, he has that Jeff Bezos issued Glock. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, just packing, right. he's just packing heat. Yeah, he's on a he's literally like on the couch, like feet up, like one hand and like then if you, a Glock in the other hand. If you want if you TV. want to win a living room, you need to win this game of hopscotch. Do you want a weekend in the living room? <laughs> yeah. It's not even for money. Okay. It's just for time off. It's just for time. Mom. Do you want to upgrade yeah, your house? Game. Do you want to go on vacation this year? You want a year? fireplace. Squid game, but for a weekend off. You, no, you don't like win a vacation, but you like win the opportunity to have time to go on vacation. Yes. You, you, win, you, have to you win the it. chance to, you win yeah. the chance to go, to go on vacation, dude. This you is get, the future. It's like a, it's this like, is the future. Okay, so that's what it is. Whoever wins the squid game, you, it's like a, like a Mario Party-esque like, block appears over their head, and it just starts <laughs> spinning. And then they're like, go ahead, hit the, hit the block. And you're like, oh, and is this... This is gonna determine if I win. Oh, dude, they have no, and the, none of them win. The winner, That's what, they're all bad. <laughs> they're all bad. The, like if you if you win the Squid Game, dude, and you win the vacation, they like immediately turn over an hourglass. Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're like go. In a perfect <laughs> world, go in, now. In, in a, Yo, uh, in we a expect perfect you back world, on Monday. It's been five seconds. Yeah. <laughs> in a perfect world, they just throw everybody in a room and just give them weapons mm. like gladiators. Mm-hmm. They all just fight it out, and then the person who racks up the most bodies, he gets like. An addition on his house. Yeah, they'll, they'll pay your tuition, maybe. maybe. Well, that's it. You know, no, maybe. that's that's yeah. You can't have a whole season of a show with just that arc, though. Like they did that in the yeah. show for a bit. Oh, and did then they? They, I didn't, yeah, I didn't even watch stuff. the show. Did you watch the show? Yeah, it yeah. was pretty good. No, it was, it. it was really good. I liked it. Yeah, the ending was a little man. I heard. I the ending heard. was a little cliche. Yeah. yeah, I mean it's it was kind of hard to end that. I would imagine. Yeah. Because of what I've been. Well, I believe season two is already confirmed. Well, dude, the fucked up well, thing is like built. it just feels like it to me. It felt a little forced, like yeah. mm. like the ending, like oh, how are we gonna set up a season two? It didn't feel like oh, we need a season two. It's mm-hmm. like how did how are we gonna set it up? That's well, a problem with so many shows, man. Is mm-hmm. they just they they will milk it and milk it's, it, and, and it's milk really it. ironic from Squid Game too. Yes. When you think about it, it's like yeah. super ironic. But like, oh right. Oh, yeah, how much, how much money did it cost? How much money you think it cost yeah, 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 to make like just one set? Of Squid Game, which is a red light, green light set. How much do you think that costs? A lot. A lot. Just I, I that know. set? Yeah. Just hundred like million. One, probably, no, no, not over a hundred. Probably a million. Oh, just to make this. I'm thinking. Yeah, just like one. I'm thinking yeah. per episode. Hundreds budget. of thousands. If what, not. No, probably not that much. Per episode budget? Yeah. Hundred million. Hundred million probably. Hundred million for the season. Per, per episode. How many episodes are there? Ten? Nah, I think there's eight. Eight? I think there's eight. Or no, there might be nine. Hundred million? There's no way. Can't be hundred. No, they wouldn't give just some random guy hundred million dollars for that. Yeah. I mean, it's a cool script. Oh, you're right. I'm totally off. <laughs> it uh, it generated nine hundred million though. So it's two point four million per episode. Two point four. Fuck. Yeah. yeah. Wow. They really. Yeah, it was totally off. Basically. They did a good job. Well, they did a good job. I, I was yeah. thinking like, that show looked I don't, yeah, really yeah, I was just good. I was just comparing to that Game of Thrones. Beautiful. No, because Game of Thrones budget was like. About a, that. Towards the end, was it ten? I million think it was ten. I might be thinking of season budget then. Maybe. I think I'm just getting confused. Oh, you're talking. Yeah. Okay. What was, fir- what was first season? Was that was probably around then? That was what? probably around that. Squid Game? No, well, Game, of Thrones, uh, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones budget. Okay, so of first Game season. of Thrones budget was like ten million per episode for first season. No, 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 no. Later, no it started. Later. That's what I mean. No, 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 no. It started six to seven, and then by the end it was ten million per episode. Yeah, fuck. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. so like that was my think thing. about every ten million they spent on those so last I, I season. I just fucked up. I was sucked. I was what if, my what numbers. Worst episode. I was getting my numbers confused. What if the last episode of Game of Thrones spoilers? Um... Instead of like John killing Danny, mm-hmm. it's just like a ploy on like capitalism and how it's bad. 
<laughs> and then John, uh, no, they just take it. They just put everybody in the red keep, and they're like, Guys, "Yo, dude, what if? Yeah, dude, they like literally, like, like literally, dude, it's Jigsaw like, rides out on his little they, tricycle. It's like she's in like the burning castle, and like then the guy comes out with like that little card game, and she's like, well, I, I can help you, <laughs> right? Yeah, let's just transition this into the next original series, please. Yeah. Well, yeah, how good? Because. I hope do you that, think do you think that Game of Thrones is in the Squid Game universe? Like, do you think there? <laughs> yeah, like, do you think there's dragons in Squid Game, 100%. but they're just like from a long Korean time ago? Game of Thrones? Yeah. yeah, I think that makes sense. No, I, I don't think it makes. Are sense. Are there? What? Okay, this is gonna sound pretty messed up, but <laughs> how many careful. how many <laughs> Yo, how many Asian characters are in Game of Thrones? Uh, I'm trying to think. Like of one. zero? Yeah. I don't know. I don't remember an Asian character. Does uh, um, Khal Drogo count? He's is he no he's Polynesian? That guy's, is he Polynesian? I think he's like uh, Hawaiian. He's Islander of some kind. Yeah, but that's not Asian. No. Pacific Island. Yeah, that's, but if it's, Asia. if it's Hawaii, it's not Asia. But it, but it kind of. <laughs> what are you it's saying? It's closer China? to Asia than it is to here. You have to be more careful than Kyle. <laughs> what are you <laughs> talking about? Hawaii's closer to Asia than it is to Hawaii. Hawaii's its own people, though. Hawaii is. What, what do you mean? Like culturally, like they're not just Asians. No, I know, but I'm saying if, like, it technically you could say Hawaii's part of the like north america but i wouldn't say that like like it, it seems like culturally it, it seems like hawaii it's lines not. more aligns more with asia i maybe this is just Careful. because I'm so white. long story yeah, short 100 just because you're white and there's I think, a whole white like dude do you know how many thing? asian countries there are yeah do you know how many yeah. different cultures there are in asia yeah so Squid Game is not a sequel <laughs> yeah. of Game of Thrones. Yeah, that is what yeah, we're trying yeah. to oh say Oh my here. god, dude. That is what we're trying to say. Trying to get the show canceled before Again, it starts. no bro. hate in the heart. <laughs> the heart's... <laughs> f- there's less hate than there was. There's no That's hate, good. just a very limited understanding of Asian <laughs> culture. Of Asia as yeah. a continent. Yeah, it's all ignorance. And I'm just trying to be funny, you know. Why are you, you fucking you yelling at me? Laugh. You made me laugh. Fucking yelling at me trying to be funny? Fuck you guys. We're taking over. Trying I'm to hard to be funny. <laughs> you know what? I'm done. <laughs> This is the last episode. <laughs> no. Um, but did you... Any any movies recently? No. Oh. Um, oh I watched The Machinist yesterday. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Yeah, how was it? Good. Yeah? yeah. It's probably gross. Been, yeah, it it turned out a little predictable. It, mm. Oh, honest. yeah. Yeah. Does he gain weight? No. No. Shit. I, have been, I couldn't predict it. I have been watching this <laughs> awesome show. Oh, I rewatched uh, Harakiri. Oh yeah, Ooh, I yes. love that. Favorite I just movie was of all time. Texting you about that. It's great. great Favorite movie. movie of all time. I gotta rewatch. I I didn't even wait. Watch really? It. Now? It, was it always your number one? When I watch it. When it when you watch it. Number it's one. Got, I, yeah, man, number it's one. Movie. I just watched it's that. Timeless. It's in my top ten. Timeless. Man. My top ten. I just watched the dual scene. I haven't seen the whole movie. Of Harakiri? Yeah, the one where he's like, yeah, that's fucking yeah, it's awesome. sick. It's really cool. I watched it like during like work while I was at work, and I was like. I gotta go to a break room. Like, mm. I can't just, like, watch this out here. Uh, I've been watching Love, Death, Robots. Have you guys heard oh, of that? Oh, the first season yeah. was really good. It is downs for me. Awesome. In first season. Yeah, I well, feel like it's, very, it's, it's an sure. anthology. It's, like, it's, it's some of them yeah. are going to be good, some of them are going to be yeah, bad. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Like, some of the story's really bad. The animation is incredible. The animation's say, always sound good. Sound design is always great. The different animation styles throughout the whole thing, genius idea. Yeah, it's That's, awesome. I love that. Well, they're all different directors and stuff. They are. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's It's really cool. Black Mirror, like... Animated Black Mirror. Yes. Yeah. No, but see, yeah. I think Black Mirror has a more um a, like defined aesthetic. Like yeah, each season is very similar. Yeah. 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 And they also have some of that stuff like in the same universe. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, with, yeah. Like the cookies or whatever. Like yeah, the yeah, eye yeah, thing. Yeah. Like, there's yeah, a couple yeah. episodes with that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Black Mirror's awesome too. I mean, Black Mirror. Black, Black, Black Mirror do... totally fell off after season two, in my opinion. I didn't season watch three, season two. It was three episodes, right? Yeah, it sucked. Yeah. I don't they just got really dumb. And like the dumb one, like did you watch the one with the fucking the guys in the video game? Oh, Striking Vipers? Everybody hated Dude, on that. Sucked. I didn't mind That's it. That's so I stupid. Didn't mind it. It's so stupid. Everybody hated on Dude, it. Dude, but it's like totally like I feel like the people like take like how good the show was early on and they attribute that to like the later seasons. So just which are obviously no, no, no. I'm saying like they're like, this is still good because it's Black Mirror. Yeah. Oh. And they stop like talking about like, oh, is this one yeah. actually good? Because like it there's any anthology series. Any anything, whether it's season by season or, or show by show, yeah, gonna be super high highs and low lows. But like, mm-hmm. how good, like, True detective, the very example. first episode, like, how good American that horror was. Story. Of, American Horror Story of Black Mirror, like the the pig fucking one. I didn't. That's the only episode I didn't watch. Really? That's only like the best, the best one. That's literally no, the best. That's what I was episode. gonna ask. That's like literally the best episode. Yeah. And people like take the quality of that one. Yeah. And they're like, oh, well, so this one in season three or four or whatever mm. must still be that good, and it's Dude, not. Dude, you mm. know what they did? They made a short film, and they were like, you know what? We should just do that again. 
for as long as we can. I, I and the, they did the that. The first episode was really good, and then I like the, the I like the million the, shit, the million the, credits or what? Fifteen million merits. Yeah, that's I like a good one. I don't remember that one. Which one is that? Um, that's the one where at the end is it the thing. It's like he, he, no, he finds out like out his wife is cheating on him. Oh yeah, okay. and he like kind of breaks the cycle, or they because they yeah. all have, like the implants. Oh, I, White I, Christmas. I, I think I liked San Junipero was pretty good too. San Junipero was great, good. One yeah. of the only How do you guys like, remember ending. titles of episodes? Jesus, I'm, I'm a fan. I'm a Dude, fan. I can't. I ranked. All, I ranked all every episode. I like. Really? Letterbox. Oh, really? Yeah. Shit. Oh, I'll take a look later. I'll take oh, a look later. I will. Say, oh, yeah. You could. You plug your Letterbox at the end of this. You, yeah. you didn't do that. I'll plug it now. Kyle Sevy. Kyle Sevy on Letterbox. Let's Kyle go. Kyle Sevy on Letterbox. K Y L E S E V Y. I I think the. It's just, yeah. it's just a monitor just, sleeping. Just a monitor? Yeah, it's just a monitor right, sleeping. All right, yeah. All right, yeah. <laughs> false alarm there. Um, we all saw that. That's cool, though. Okay, I'm also on Letterbox at Mink Plots, I guess, or Mink Plot, but I don't. I don't really. He's more into it. I use it for everything I he's, watch. He's a full. I log everything I watch. I don't review. I've reviewed like one. I try movie. to do like little short reviews, but short films and TV shows that are on there for some reason or episodes, I should mm-hmm. say. I'll just like them and mark them as watched. You know what I could do? I could oh, do I that did. with every episode of seasons one yet. through three of SpongeBob. Are they I on Letterboxd? I, no, but if they were, I could review oh, each one yeah. and give detailed like, I like this part. I don't like this part. Yeah. I, I miss SpongeBob. I, I want to revisit SpongeBob. Yeah, like Shanghai. Shanghai is one of the best episodes. Which one is that? Because he's they're on the flying Dutchman ship. That's another show that ship. completely fell off. With SpongeBob, oh, yeah. Well, the, the creator of it didn't want it to continue, and they were like, but money. But it's yeah. so much money. Yeah. So, so much, back on so the much, mil- but China, so much, but China, China, money. It's so much value. Yeah, it's so much value. Va- so we'll do the this value. Is new, so this is value. the new Black Lotus. Ah, this is the new Black Lotus. Dude, honestly, if you think about. Okay, if you think about SpongeBob, the value of SpongeBob at the time of the first SpongeBob movie with fucking David Hasselhoff, top tier. Oh yeah, 100%. that is the, the the highest peak of SpongeBob. I cry. I have to say, it has to fall. It falls pretty hard, quick. After That's that. what That's I'm saying. Very though. quick. Because yeah, the creator quick. was like, "Hey, we're done." And then they're like, "Come on!" Didn't the voice actor for SpongeBob yes, like pass he, he away? Did, and no, they're I still he making. He quit. There's Tom Kenny, dude. Oh, he quit. He quit. He didn't die. Did he quit? I think he quit think because he quit. of the same reason that oh, the owner quit. Oh, I Yeah, like the but I think they're I still making that. episodes, right? No, yes. they are. Yes. They, yeah. they have a Patrick spinoff. It's so dumb. It's fuck that. Yeah, I no, hate, it makes I hate me mad. everything that changes things from my childhood. Well, yes. I hate with courage. The way... Courage didn't do that. Courage, courage didn't. Codename Kids Next Door. Well, dude, Hell Cartoon yeah. Network was a shit. Man. If you look at if you look at all yeah, of those Cartoon cartoons, Network more. Yeah. Well, dude, Nick. Ed and Eddie. Overall, fucking, though. Uh, yeah, Chowder. I think SpongeBob was Chowder. Kind of Chowder's legit. Yo, Flapjack? Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Foster's yes. Home, Flapjack. Flapjack. Flapjack was so good. Drake Flap- and Josh. Flapjack was honestly like the next uh, SpongeBob. Well, I'm trying to think of one that came out around the Flapjack era that was good. Regular show. Regular, Regular show. show. Adventure, Adventure Time. Yeah, I was like kind of. Adventure more... Time is just like, you know why? Adventure Time you know was more like because like it's fun. Yeah. Because it's fun and happy, and you're a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, <totally. laughs> yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. why. Do you like the dark like humor of Adventure Time? I loved it. No, it I, no, no I'm sorry. No, no I'm not Regular saying I didn't like dark. it or I don't like it now. I'm saying I didn't get into it when I was a kid. And oh, I think, fair. Yeah, and I, I think either. it had more to do with the people that I was around who watched it. That is fair. Than the people, like, because, like, dude, the when we were in, like, insufferable sometimes. Uh, sixth, seventh yeah. grade, dude, like, that was, like, that was, like, cringe stuff. Kind of. From I mean, like my, I, from like my, my pe- no, dude, like, like, I love the like, regular show. Like, dude, like, they the were both, people. They were at the same time. Like, 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 think about, like, the average person who would wear, like, the fin hat. Yeah. Those are the people I did not want yeah. to associate with. Like, but it was the same with anime, man. Year. Like people that watch anime in like high school, they didn't talk about it. No, the, dude, that's closet shit. Yeah. You, gotta, you have yeah. to stay closeted. And about then there that. were the people that went to high they school with cat pillow. ears and pals. Yeah, dude. Like, and you're like, no, no, get away dude, from dude, me. Those ones are the ones that I did. Like, I don't so want like, to catch your so disease. Like, I, like, you, like, you literally like in like high school or whatever, which is when these shows were on. Like you could not. You could not, that like... was, like, middle school. Well, well, no, but, like, I mean, by the time it ended, it was... By the time, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, like, it, it would have been, like... Both of those shows yeah. very but, like, long... In, in any case, like, that kind of, like, from, seasons. like, 12 to, like, 15 or whatever. Yeah. Like, the people that you did not want... To, like, nobody would be, like, a normal person and an anime fan that you knew of. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. no, they were always no, anime fans. That's no, my whole point, though. It depends. Dude, I did not know anybody in who... Like, I did not know, because nobody yeah. talked about it. I did not know anybody who liked anime. Until you were out of high school? Until I was out of Same. high school. Dude, exactly. Because, like, no, dude, exactly. Unless they wore cat ears to yeah. school. Well, yeah, they yeah, wore yeah, cat ears yeah. to no, school, dude, there's, like, a ta- okay. there's a table. There's always a table. There was. Yes, no, 100%. Yeah. But, the, but they, were, they were they were just people that didn't talk about it. Right. And now, no, but watching yeah, them, they're like, my closest friends. friends. Like, look at them, you're like, what are they all like? I'm saying, like, dude, anybody that I knew who liked anime, 
in high school that I knew. Like, I was like, oh, they yeah. like anime. They watch it. They are a consumer of this culture. Mm -hmm. And they would wear cat ears and tails and, well, like, I went to ridiculous UB makeup. As a, as a kid. I went, I went to, like, the Nerf War and, like, that whole, like, the UB has, like, an entire, like, festival for anime nerds that like right. it's like okay. a whole convention thing. you embrace that shit he was more culturally dude I dressed up as Link yeah. I was a fucking yeah. the, the people oh, that we're dude, talking about not... you can like Zelda yeah no yeah. but like... that's what I mean it's yeah. like it's video games anime like they're all in like everybody I knew liked video games everybody right. Right. Yeah. not everybody liked anime but that's where that's where I could find my like bridge to that no, I world no I agree perfectly fine so, with that I'm, yeah. I'm not even like judging the people yeah. anymore but I'm saying in high school well Akira you don't want to be you can't talk shit about like well I wouldn't but like, no, that's what I, I mean, love it. Like, I love anime. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, but in your high school brain, exactly. you wouldn't think you don't, of that as No, anime. but it's like not even like the content. I wouldn't even watch the it. content. Right. I'm saying the content was irrelevant mm -hmm. to why I didn't watch it. Yes, it was the exactly. culture around it and the exactly. people around it. Yeah, I'm the same. I, was like, I don't I didn't, like. Yeah, I don't know if you could see it well, from like an outside groups. perspective, but just for me, I just didn't really surround myself with people that watched it. No, and I mean, I, yeah, I'm yeah, the same way. Yeah, Pretty but much. then I started watching it like after high school because I found out like all my friends watch it. Yeah, and I've watched like some awesome movies. Dude, Samurai awesome. Shampoo, Samurai Shampoo, and Cowboy Bebop. Cowboy Bebop's shit. fucking awesome. Yeah. I have not watched Shampoo yet though. I haven't watched Samurai Shampoo or Bebop. Love... Bebop's amazing. Yeah, you I love did. Samurai Shampoo. The soundtrack is like all the it's like jazz, right? Nujibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. He literally yeah. almost. I've listened, no, I've listened to the music. Him and Jay Dilla basically started Lo-Fi. So I love Lo-Fi. Uh, That's what I mean. Yeah, it's like, and it's fucking sword fights. Oh, yeah. Luke was so telling good. me about the show called uh, Yasuke, I believe. He was like the black samurai in like real yeah. life. Yeah. Oh, and the music, the music Dude, is flying I Lotus. Yeah, I, tried to, I, I tried to watch that, and it like it was weird though, because it wasn't like anime anime. It was kind of like three mm, D animation. I hate that. And I, it was I like, don't like it. Yeah, I, I, was, I like the drawings. I wasn't a fan of the an, like. I wasn't a fan of like how it married like the three D and the anime. Mm -hmm. style. I finished I was, Attack on Titan like a couple. Oh, like, I never like watched a month that. Month or two ago, yeah. I never watched it's, that. It's great, man. No, I, I heard Attack it. on Titan. The story wise is like phenomenal. It's like, good. Um, for me personally, and I'm, I'm not one to like, try to like go and predict things. Mm -hmm. It was a little predictable. I mean, I try to get yeah. like consumed by it and just go with the flow. Mm -hmm. But well, just because you can't predict things doesn't mean you have to deflect right now. I was gonna say, what what is something that you would describe as unpredictable? Like a movie or TV? Um, oh, that's a good question. Like, would you say that first season of True Detective was unpredictable? Because wasn't that the good one? That's the only good one, yeah. I, I, like, I like the third season a little bit. But oh, the third yeah. season's okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, third, the, I thought the, the third, third season, season by was comparison. just incredible storytelling. The, mm -hmm. Yeah, but the third season, by the it like does not compare. But that's yeah. what I mean. So yeah. was it unexpected by the end of the first season is what I'm asking. I don't know if it was super unexpected. Yeah. When they reveal the killer, Like the twist? It's they weird. met him before. They saw him on the lawnmower, and you, you're just like, oh, it was just a guy. Like, he's, I would he's say got problems. I don't know, dude. You start talking to random dudes on the lawnmower. Yeah. The murder <laughs> they're, murderers. Yeah. they're the murderers. They're, they're, they're dude. the murderers. I haven't, I haven't watched it, so I can't. You're like, oh, like, hey, hey here's this blue we, collar we could, guy who's we could definitely like, be better never been talked to before, and Matthew now the main characters are having a conversation yeah. with him. Strange. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Huh. Wait, this is the only guy they see on the way. Hmm. Yeah. What's the point of this conversation, huh? Like, like, oh, I don't know. But I mean. Like that, at the same time, you can't. I feel like you can't define if something's good or not by that. No, because oh, if you, I, 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 I'm not. It's all about I'm execution. I, like I said, yeah. it's, I, it's great. Like, right, overall, right. I loved it. I thought it was excellent. I, I think you. I was can, just gonna bring up Nightcrawler, but like because quality. That's like, like I knew exactly where that was going. Yeah, oh, and it went there, so, and I was like, so "Yeah, but it's intense." That was awesome. No, right, but the see, journey that, that's is so the intense. Thing, like, yeah. That, yeah. The, I don't think it's a problem to be predictable. I yeah. think it's a problem to try to force unpredictability. Yes. Yeah. So, that's like, kinda, it, maybe that's kind of what I felt. Because like, like, if you can like see like it coming, and but it doesn't make sense in the world they set up. Mm -hmm. Like so, if like, like like let's say like you're building like 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 Jenga or something and you're putting like a bunch of stuff together and like you're like oh I know where this what this tower is gonna look like mm -hmm. and then they like just smash it and then it's, and you're like well you just broke all the rules that you yeah. set up that's a good you know point. what I mean that's if they keep, like, like, if I they don't keep... know what you mean so like I'm saying like okay like if you're setting up like a story world or like a like a universe in like writing mm -hmm. you're like you're building towards something right in a plot yeah right so like X happens therefore Y happens yeah. right and then if it's like if that middle point where like your, people are like, oh, X happened, therefore this is going to happen. Like, but pattern recognition pattern, sort of. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Like you yeah, set yeah. up the package, but then they're like, oh, X happens, therefore fucking G happens. happens. Yeah. And, yeah. You're, and like, you're like, you're like, wait, what? Like, like, oh, you just, you didn't set that up at all. Like yeah. you did none of yeah. the work. Yeah. And then you just throw a twist in there. 
And it doesn't, like, that's forced unpredictability. Mm-hmm. And I think that comes off worse, where it's like, if you watch a movie and you're, you're like, preparing like you're to, saying with you're Nightcrawler. You're preparing to do the twist. If you're, if you're watching Nightcrawler and you're like, yeah. oh, oh, shit, okay, cool. Oh, I know it's going to happen, but it's still gratifying because yeah. it's, like, true to itself. It's, like, true to the yeah. premise. Yeah. It's a journey that, like, from like, there has point to be, A to B. There has to be, like, you can do a twist, but you have to set the twist up, mm-hmm. right? Yes. Like, you can't just, like, out of nowhere, like, like, like introduce a whole yeah. new puzzle. Mm-hmm. Like, the puzzle's got to yeah, come yeah. together, right? So like yeah. you have to be able to like the audience if they just if if there's like no illusion it's like it's like why people think like Deus Ex Machina is really bad. Yeah, oh, they just because yeah. it's like yeah, it yeah, doesn't yeah. set it up at all, and then oh, you got flying eagles coming in to save fucking Frodo. Mm-hmm. Like it's like oh okay, they just can't yeah, lose. Going back they on, just like, can't detective, lose. They all this danger was bullshit. Well, exactly, and that's yeah. it, it removes the um, suspension of disbelief. Exactly, and then yes. you're just like out. And right, you're like, and that's I don't even like a, that's like that's like kind yeah. of critical to what I'm saying. Like you have to set it up. Yeah. Because then it's believable. Like mm-hmm. you has to, you have to achieve like a level of believability. At least in my opinion. I also think just being such an avid Game of Thrones fan, mm-hmm. it Fuck like kind of desensitized. They ruined it. It just overall like just the journey from let's just say season one to season. It's six. honestly funny that they spent that much money on season eight. It is. It's um. It's I got dude. Imagine being the most to... expensive season and the worst at the yeah. same time. Yeah. That's Can you I'm imagine like, the tragedy? Look at the value here. Yeah. Look oh, at the value. Sick, dude. Yeah. The value. The, the real worst good. value. Real value. TV but, show. Yeah. I think I got like desensitized to certain plot twists and stuff too. Oh, like you see stuff coming. Not even that. No, it's a really good example though of things well, that are set up proper that you don't expect, but that are set up, especially if you read the books, like things like the Red Wedding. And like, uh, there's that's so okay. much foreshadowing. I got so right? much clued into me about the red wedding that it was not a surprise. Like everyone was like, "Oh, just wait." It, no, see, but like, that's what I'm saying like, too. Oh, yeah, this like, is the part that everyone's talking about. The clues don't even have to be like deliberate plot clues, but yeah. it can just be like character actions. Yeah, like Everybody everybody's is like, oh, Walder Frey is like fucked up, and nobody likes him, and like, oh, he's now acting out of character, mm. and then the reins of Castamere start playing. Yeah. And Caitlyn, like, because in the books it's more noticeable because, like, she can talk to you about, like, how she's feeling. And she's, oh, like, like, in her head? Yeah. 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 It's, yeah. like, the yeah. Reigns of Castamere, which is, like, the house song of for their the enemy, of the Lannisters. Yeah. And you're, like, oh. That shouldn't be playing. That should not be <laughs> yeah. playing. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's just over. Yeah. Okay. So it's, like, it's really interesting, like, how pe- like the clues that you lay out can't be, like, we're, we're getting ready for the twist now, everybody. But, like, it also can't be, like somebody just coming in and knocking everything you, like all yeah. the rules you set up over mm-hmm. it's like you know like in like Lord of the Rings is kind of bad about this where it's like oh Gandalf's here what magic is he gonna use to save shit they don't define yeah, anything no. you know what I mean he just, 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 just saves shit yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they don't set it up at all yeah. they don't set it up at all they just like oh he they comes here like okay so we'll give you a god character he's yeah. god and yeah. then you guys are all like not god but oh, this guy's god you remember these flying eagles that haven't been <laughs> in any of this Bro, no, the, like, oh, the, wow, only, the only god in Lord of the Rings is Sam. Yeah, oh, Sam is Sam, a G. Sam, Sam is Lewis. god. A spare a potato? <laughs> That's pretty good. Boil them, bake them, <laughs> mash them, stick them in a stew. Stick them with my ass. <laughs> Peel them. Is a meme. Uh-huh. Yeah. Stick them, in, stick them in the blender. <laughs> <laughs> See, I know it's not a meme. <laughs> <laughs> it's a meme. It it's is. A, it's a theme. It is. Of this podcast... Which Potatoes. we should probably end. I think it's about wrap time. I man. think yes. we're. I think we're good. I think the conversation came to a natural conclusion. We're yeah, at with my okay. About an hour and fifteen, I think. Mm, yeah, somewhere in there. Yeah, one eleven. Yes. Currently one eleven on my clock. But All right, guys. They're gonna see something. Check different. out everybody's letterbox in the description. Letterbox. Yeah. <laughs> so we we are ultra pro visuals. Kyle's here too. Kyle, I guess he's part of it too. Thanks, man. You're here. I appreciate it. You're around. I'm past the uh, the ceremony. Welcome, welcome. Thanks. Thanks. We'll, we'll introduce you on, oh, on the podcast. Shake. The left hand to shake. Love it's, it. It's not real. It's not real. <laughs> um, no. So, Ultra Visuals on YouTube, Instagram. Uh, we're going to make a TikTok. We'll put the links in the description if we don't say them now. We'll put them all yeah, in the description. Yeah, everything will be in the description. They'll probably be on the screen maybe a little bit. If I decide to do that, they might not be because who knows how much this work this is. Yeah, so yes. be sure to like and subscribe and ring that and fucking bell if you bell. have anything you want us to talk about throw a comment down there leave a do comment it. leave a social media interaction yeah do something us. throw us a like yeah. throw us a share if you a letterbox story, follow maybe, maybe. yo guys what do you think about maybe doing call-ins at some call-ins oh, oh hell for yeah. sure do call-ins do okay, I'll do so, call-ins yeah we'll work on whatever yeah um, check Just the links in the description we'll, yeah. yeah and then we'll uh, yeah. yeah we'll, we'll be back next week next Wednesday oh I will say um Shout out to Mark Zastro. We we I went to his show. 
that oh, we talked yeah. about last oh, that, that, that oh, was nice. good. Yeah, yeah, I didn't even it? realize that we weren't even going to have the episode out by the time that I went there. Oh, but it was so a good fun. show. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, and uh, another thing. If you have not, go back and watch episode zero yeah. um, where you can get zero. some of these references that we're making. Yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. Betty White. Zero. Betty White's still alive, still, still kicking. Still kicking. <laughs> if, uh, if, I think the, the, what we have to, like, uh, what, would, what would it be? Promise ourselves is that we do not stop before Betty White is not alive. That's when we <laughs> stop. That's when we stop. Like, we'll take a week. Betty White, we'll when, Betty, heart, when Betty White kicks I, the I've bucket, we're the done. I've become the villain, dude, in my own story. <laughs> I, I, I made a joke last week, and now it's a fucking segment. <laughs> All right. You cursed yourself. I did curse We're myself, here. man. We're All right, right guys. Anyways, uh, <laughs> say goodbye. <laughs> say goodbye. And uh, every Wednesday, noon. Every that's Wednesday, when the noon, episodes are released Wednesday. on all yeah. platforms. Thank you very much. We'll put some clips up TikTok, Instagram. That might be why you're here. You're going to hear a lot about Wednesday at noon. And Wednesday we'll also at noon. hear a lot about Betty White. But goodbye. And that's a wrap. And goodbye. That's, that's, a, that's a buffalo chicken wrap right there. Yes. Are we good? After the bathroom. That's now we are. It's like a resource. <laughs> Chick, chick, chickadees, chick, 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 mouse. Everybody loves to watch birds. There's really no limit to the number of birds.